socialmediamarketinggirl.com and welcome to this week's video tip and right now I am logged into Facebook and I am on my Facebook fan page and if you haven't checked me out on Facebook yet you can visit my fan page at facebook.com forward slash social media marketing girl okay let me just give you um, an overview of the apps that I have on my fan page okay so as you can see here on the left I have my welcome page the contact form YouTube link where you can directly see all my videos link it to Twitter and to LinkedIn and look at this I have a contact form I am not sure if you have if you have ever thought of having a contact form on your fan page. So I, I've talked to a client recently and I told him that I installed a contact form on his fan page because we have been getting inquiries on the wall of the fan page about who they could talk to about this type of service. And it's really important to have a contact page because people might not want to leave your fan page. So let them um, have a way to contact you aside from posting something on the wall, okay? So if you have a fan page, this is what I want you to do right now. Go to your Facebook fan page and type in on the search box, contact form, okay? And you can see there's one application there and click on see more results for contact form okay you can see all these results there are Facebook fan pages but I want you to click on apps I'm going to show you two of the applications that I have used for my own fan page number one is the contact form you click on configure so this is very easy to set up you just need to fill the form with your information such as your name your contact email and your website and this will not be shown on your fan page okay and you can easily um, add a picture header to go with it or you can also add a header message and then for the success message, you can also customize this. So I have this set up. Your message was successfully sent. It'll get back to you as soon as I can. And you can also um, add a link for them to visit just in case. Um, let's say, for example, you want to lead them to a freebie on your website. You can do this right here. And when an entry is submitted, this will be sent to the contact email you have entered right here and there's another contact form I'm currently using the contact form by contact me okay so it's very easy and I prefer to use uh, co the contact me contact form for Facebook fan pages simply because it looks um, more catchy for me and you can add um, links to your social networks right here or even a link to your Skype or um, you can put your phone number you can easily customize this form so that's it for this week and if you want more of these tips weekly straight to your inbox just pop over to socialmediamarketinggirl.com and I'll see you next week